Hello everybody and welcome to the Unit Showcase. The Unit Showcase takes a look at miniatures that make up different units from different games. In today's video, we are going to have a look at a unit painted by SL. This unit are the SS Panzer Grenadiers. Uh, the miniatures are from Warlock Games' Bolt Action range. The box that these figures come in looks like this in case you want to go to your local game store and pick this up. According to SL, these figures were painted for the Chain of Command campaign that his group was about to play. Uh, Chain of Command is a rule set published by the two pet lardies and the campaign is also from the lardies and it's called the Scottish Corridor Campaign. Now initially SL wanted to pick up a section of uh, SS Panzer Grenadiers but instead decided to get the uh, German Grenadiers box because, well, that was the only box left. So. Alright, so we're going to have a look at one of the sprues you get with the German Grenadier box. And with this, you also have a lot of bits that you can choose from. I will attempt to show you what is on this the best I can. And I'm going to attempt to uh, pronounce some of these in, uh, in German the best I can. So if you speak German and I pronounce this wrongly, I totally apologize beforehand. First off, we got the steel helmet, the Stahlhelm, Stahlhelm, um, and they got different heads, and each of the heads have a different pose. And I think this follows, you know, uh, World Games' design philosophy of going for the over-the-top Hollywood look or the um, Commander comics thing, which is kind of great because you know you got all these action poses, you know, and action faces on on the models. Then moving along, we've got a head without a helmet on, a bare head. We have the uh, field cap. We have a peaked cap for the NCO and, and, and a helmet. Now this this helmet is actually one that doesn't is not covered, so that's that's kind of cool as well. Moving along, we have let me see now. We got you know the uh, the, uh, lo the loading belt with the ammo belt. Now if you look over here, they have a grenade on launch thing that you can add to your rifle. They got the bayonet, you know. They got a you know a, a Soviet weapon yeah, that you can add on. Soviet machine gun. You got your uh, MP40s, you know, um, which is I think I think in in essence they have different uh, different weapons. So you know you can actually like do your best to like do the do up the uh, the figure. In any way you want, from your car 98s to your MP40s to the Gevirs, uh, which is which is great. And also, here's the thing to note as well: um, all of the weapons are actually molded with the figure, which is great because previous previous models there was a problem; the weapons were separated, and when you put them together, you know the weapons seem to be floating above above the arm, you know. So you don't have that here, which is kind of cool. It looks great when it comes to modeling. Uh, very quickly for wargaming. Um, here's something I, I I got from SL. SL told me that uh, when he got the Forsham Jaeger pack, you know the uh, Car 98 pouches were not sculpted on, but you know, as you can see, they're sculpted on here. That that make that makes things easier. Of course, there are only Car 98 pouches, not the Gavir uh, weapon ammo pouches. So yeah, you know, you win some, you lose some. And if you look at the bodies, you got. Uh, but different kinds of bodies. You got some bodies in the MA9 uniforms, and you got some bodies. Let me see if I can find one. In in Ziltban, Zilla ponchos, which is also quite cool. There's a nice variety there. So yeah, I got your standard and you got your Ziltban. Uh, and all of these hopefully we will we will feature in, in terms of color uh, later in one of the um, you know the showcase dolly shots. Uh, then you have things like uh, you know tools for ent entrenching tools, and you got your heavy weapons and stuff like that. Now this this sprue, once you're done with it, you're gonna have a lot of a lot of bits extra, which is great. So later you can use the extra bits you know for either one of your pet projects, uh, where you want to have like a, either a diorama with uh, you know different weapons, or you can actually like really tool up the figure in, in, in ways that you, you know, want to make it you know I you can either you know add on for example adding uh, more Gavir 
pouches to uh, a trooper who already has a car 98 pouch, uh, ammo pouch or you can just like keep going and like you know either make it minimally minimal uh accessories or total total pack it on you know so yeah so the uh sprue comes with enough bits for you to do that the box also comes with um uh decal sheet i personally think they're really really small uh i i give <laughs> you know a lot of props to somebody who actually uses this because they're not easy to put on yeah so sl's actually painted some of the cuff titles by himself because he didn't want to put them on they were just too too fiddly to put them on but here you know in case you're wondering how i know all of this um all of the what they're called is because it actually comes with the uh, a record a sheet that identifies every bit so you have to come, come, keep coming back to the video to find out what it is. This is great because not every person who buys a warlock kit is a military historian and this actually identifies what these are and it helps the newbie get into the hobby. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what you get in the uh, uh, in the box. You get some, uh, some sprues and decals and you know, a description sheet. Okay, so let's look at the different figures closely here is a trooper with a cap aiming his car 98 it's very nice i like the fact that he's got the helmet on the side there <laughs> very very nicely done um this is what this is one of the things you can do with your bits you know you can actually add on for a bit more character i like also like the fact that gamers grass uh, were put on the bases as well this is the uh, figure that uses the mg42 very nice. It's also good. He's also brought his uh, load, its ammo pack with him. Yes. Next up, we have the. Let's see. Yeah, we have the uh, NCO. Now, if you look closely, the uh, NCO is holding a map of the campaign itself. <laughs> and then, let's go to the Next up, we have the uh, Panzer Faust. Um, now let's see, let's see what it aims proper. Yes, look at that, that looks really good. You can see it aiming probably at a Sherman. Moving along, we have a uh, bigger uh, melee. Again, the uh, sights are, are really nice. I, I like the fact that uh, the, uh, the sights of the guns and the eyes of the figure actually line up very very nicely another Panzer Faust figure um, and not all of the figures were done with, uh, with flowers but I like the fact that they had just a variety of, a variety of uh, different colored ones uh, I mean at this point of the war you know I'll be surprised if there were any flowers but it makes the figures look quite nice so here we have uh, we're moving forward and this is the uh the smock that they have on the zelt barn is that what they call it um the colors i think we'll, we'll put up a list of colors that they use that he used to paint this one maybe in the uh, jolly part of the showcase as you can see here this is the uh, uh loader got the uh, ammo belt also carrying the uh, another box of uh Ammo, very nice. I like how, I like how this figures pose. Actually, they, they do have a slight you know action bit to it. Um, here is a you know trooper with his gun slung low. I mean, he it looks like he's like tracking, looking for uh, things to uh, hunt down. I guess. Here we see something which kind of he's put some some uh, as you can see here some swap on the helmet so a grenade throwing figure very nice so just a small addition and you know, looks really really great moving along we have the another mg42 zoom in there that looks good a little bit of shrubbery there on the bottom all of the all of the uh panzer g's look really really nice they've got this Nice look to them. It's, it's very showcasey. 
I think I think uh, a self painting method in a way where yeah, some flowers. Um, yeah. I think it's a very simple method of laying down paint, uh, a light wash. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. The figures look really great, so you know. Obviously, I asked SL, you know, about the painting process, and uh, he told me that he painted the uh, zip band wearing troops uh, normal field grey uniform because he figures that if they had the uh, P dot camo uniform, they wouldn't need to wear the zip bomb. Um, the uh, officer in the uh, in the set is the only trooper with uh, black boots. Now, German troopers were normally issued with brown boots with some, well, some black boot polish to turn them black. But later in the war, uh, even boot polish was in short supply. That and a normal soldier's uh, indifference <laughs> to the extra work meant the boots were normally left to uh, unpolished brown. Most uh, hobbyists uh, use different shade, different brands and SLs, no different, different brands of color or that overall nice feel and a bigger selection to use. I want to say again, SL done really a great job with these figures. They look really, really great. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing too dark. In fact, um, if anything, uh, they look really bright and popping, which which is uh, a style that he tends to choose and tends that he likes to do. Um, if you like. Now, showcase like this do do let me know and i'll probably you know book sl to start painting more figures um but that's pretty much it all the all these figures were done for campaign and this is a great reason for you to start painting a few figures he only used two frames for this project uh leaving the rest for another project altogether so when you're doing campaigns or you're you know you're starting up with a smaller scale you know skirmish uh rule sets getting a whole box and then using just a bit of them is always a good idea. I mean, this is a great example of using just a couple of frames to get the job done. So yeah, again, nice nice job SL. Let's see some more. Now, if you like videos like this, you know, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and like SL and myself. We don't and you shouldn't forget to join painting those